being able to look into the mirror, look at myself and say I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm confident and I truly love my body feels absolutely amazing. However, I've also been on the other side of that mirror and I've looked at myself and thought I feel really underconfident, I don't feel happy, I feel lethargic, I'm really unmotivated, I don't want to work out, I'm eating really badly and it is not a nice place to be. So I'm making this video today to share my own weight loss journey. I hope it is useful to you. I just want to caveat it with the fact that this is my own personal experience. Everybody has a different body, so you're going to respond to different journeys, techniques, methods, diets in a different way, but I do hope it's useful. I'll be saying why I gained weight, my journey itself, the setbacks I had, what actually worked. Yeah. So let's go back to the beginning and why I gained weight, what happened there. So I have always been an individual that absolutely loves exercise. From the very moment I left school, I joined a gym, I've always gone with friends, so it's been a little bit more of a social activity for me. But nevertheless, even with working professionally, I've absolutely loved going to the gym. It makes me feel amazing, mainly more mentally than physically. So when lockdown hit, it was a real annoyance that I couldn't go to the gym. Nevertheless, I took up all of that home exercising. I downloaded Courtney Black's app. Well, that was amazing. Joe Wicks. I was always exercising during lockdown so for me exercise wasn't the issue and it was definitely and quite clearly the amount I ate I'm definitely a comfort eater and lockdown didn't affect me luckily that much at all in terms of I was really upset or anything like that I was just eating because I was bored and I always associated eating with TV shows I get snacks and it's an enjoyable experience for me I am someone who is absolutely obsessed with food I love food I always have and I always will that hasn't changed but I'm going to tell you how I managed to deal with that now so quite clearly food was the issue I was eating way too many calories for my body and I just wasn't burning it off so it got to when lockdown ended in June July time and we could go out see friends have fun and that is when the weight gain went out of control because that is actually when I did stop exercising as much I was still trying to do at least two to three sessions a week but just because restaurants were open so I was going out to loads of meals booze boozing it up with friends reuniting with friends me and Nathan, we do love a wine to relax in the evening so that was going on it was summer we'd go to the park and enjoy a nice glass of rosé so that is definitely where my issue came and I wasn't noticing it at the time at all so that brings me to October and that is when we had another lockdown and we couldn't go out and do anything and I was just looking in the mirror and I was like wow okay I didn't actually notice but I had put on a lot of weight and let's just say it was 10 kilograms 10 kilograms of weight I'm not someone that obsesses over weighing myself I don't care about numbers so I had just been enjoying life essentially going about my time eating loads of dinners having loads of drinks and all of a sudden I had blown up like a balloon now it's funny this actually because I remember when I was younger, as I said before, I've always loved food. Mum would say to me, if you carry on eating the way that you're going to eat when you're older, you will blow up. Your metabolism won't stay the same. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It absolutely happened. Instead of wallowing about my weight, I just cracked on. I actually did the keto diet. I did loads of home workouts and it was going really well until Christmas. I was able to lose a stone just before Christmas and that was thanks to the keto diet. Keto is absolutely amazing for just stripping back and it allows you to lose weight very, very quickly just because of the foods you eat are so satiating that you don't eat much and so the weight just literally drops off you. However, if you don't maintain your diet afterwards or in fact you go into eating even more than you were before, Christmas for me and always will mean lots of food, lots of crisps, all the carbs, you need warmth, you need really enjoyable comfort food, chocolate, sweets, all the presents you get and obviously you're just going to blow up once again. I did actually do a video in the new year of new year, new goals and I was saying that one of my goals was to lose weight. So why not start now by simply saying I am going to be healthy and fit. There are so many things that you can do even when we are limited to working out at home, gyms are closed at the moment. 
I thought it'd be a new year and I'd do really well. Once again, I did well for a month and then my birthday hit and then I wanted a break from my diet and lifestyle. Essentially, I was just making up all the excuses under the sun of Christmas, my birthday. I'll do it after that. I'm too tired, work's too busy. I don't have the energy for it. Excuses, excuses, excuses. And that is a common theme when people are trying to lose weight. They just try and sweep it under the rug. They know that it's on the radar to do it, but they can't actually be bothered to do it. I'm not sure exactly what changed in April but this is where my honest official weight loss journey started. I'm actually going to pull up some stats from my Apple watch because it's really interesting to see how much I worked out and how seriously I took it but April was officially when my weight loss journey started. I think it had something to do with the gym's opening and as I said before I've always loved going to the gym it makes me feel so good mentally so it was definitely that aspect that helped me really get on top and control my relationship with food and how much I was consuming so in April 2021 I worked out a total of 34 times that is more than there are days in the month and I'll tell you why. I was going so in. In the day before work, I would do a HIIT workout, just a quick 15, 20 minute HIIT workout. And then after work, I would go and do weights at the gym. So that is why the amount is more than there are days in the month. I was so dedicated. Go to May and it drops slightly. It goes down to 19 workouts and I know exactly why. Because things were opening back up. We could go to restaurants, we could go to bars and it just means that I'm socializing more. If I'm working out less in a month, it means that I have gone out a lot and perhaps I'm busy that day so I don't have enough time to work out and then the day after I'm hungover. So that explains that. Moving on to June, I worked out a total of 35 times. So I picked up the pace back in June. I thought, okay, you've had fun in May get back on it get back on the bandwagon looking back July and August were the months where I saw the most amount of progress and the interesting thing is that in July I worked out a total of you're not going to believe this 10 times now compared to the previous months this obviously is not a lot however this is where I saw the most amount of progress reason being diet it was my diet I had the cleanest diet possible. It definitely helped that it was summertime. It was warm. I was having a lot of salads. I said to Nate at the time, I was like, look, I'm going on the keto diet, but I do not want you to call it the keto diet. Please don't mention anything to do with keto. I don't say the word keto. I don't say anything about the word keto. However, I was on the keto diet in that sense because all I was having was satiating foods, a lot of nuts, avocados, eggs, and salads. That is all I was having. Now, the interesting thing was that during this time as well, it was summer. We were free, lockdown was over. So that meant that we were having so many barbecues, we were meeting so many friends, we were going out into town, there was a lot of booze. However, I just remember being so strong and so set in my way. It was a lifestyle at this point. I got so used to my diet that it became a lifestyle. For example, we had so many barbecues and when you come over to my house, people who know me know me, I absolutely love to host. It's my favourite thing to do ever. And so when people come over, I'll always do a food display. So it's an array of different snacks, foods, drinks, treats. Oh my gosh, it's just my favourite thing ever. So that meant always having muffins around, crisps around, yogurts around, brownies around, cookies around. My favourite things ever were always around me because we are quite sociable people so we do always have people over or if not we're going to places which again makes it difficult i'll speak about that a little bit later but i was so set in my mind that it's hard to explain it wasn't in my mind that i wanted to lose weight it was just in my mind that that isn't for me i don't eat that that's just not part of my diet and when i say the word diet i'm not thinking oh i'm not allowed to eat that it's really sad i'm on a diet it's not part of my daily diet. I just don't have that. Just because I was so set, I would honestly have muffins on the table right next to me. And previously, I would never be able to not grab a muffin, no matter how full. Some people just don't have treats when they're full. They don't continue eating when they're full. I am someone that keeps eating. And I had muffins and treats right in front of me. No, I didn't touch it. And also, barbecues meant a lot of bread around, baps around, you know, oh, love a barbecue everybody was enjoying that burger with a bun and there's me my burger patty with a salad it's just i'm so proud of myself honestly looking back i'm so proud because as i said 
food is my issue so to be around that just shows that it is a lifestyle and I was doing so well I do want to mention though that at times it wasn't easy do you know when you drink a lot and you crave something salty or sweet that was me at times as well and the way I would combat that was by preparing my snacks in advance I would always have salty nuts on hand I would always have dark chocolate sometimes I even made keto brownies I've actually done a video on that as well it's just my way of being able to enjoy the experience with everybody else but it was my version so everybody else was having crisps and I'd be having my nuts it sounds a bit boring but honestly I didn't even care so by this point it was August and as I've said before it's just my lifestyle I'm just enjoying life I'm just living life I'm going along with my diet still exercising not thinking about much and they starts to say to me like oh my gosh like you have definitely lost weight and I am not somebody that obsesses with numbers I wasn't stepping on the scales or whatsoever just because I've previously done that and it's very unhealthy for me I will do it twice a day I will look at the numbers my weight goes up and thinking why has my weight gone up water weight Jesus Christ that is just the most unhealthy thing for me so I've not stepped on the scales whatsoever Nathan mentioned it mm, lovely great but I didn't really take it into account until we had a family barbecue and his granny comes up to me and says you've lost weight now let me tell you his granny's opinion to me is it is like a messiah from above i couldn't believe it because she is somebody that will only speak the truth she won't sugarcoat anything you know if somebody says oh do i look fat in this and they might look a bit big and you're like no not at all she would never do that she would never ever do that so i was like bingo i've lost weight so that gave me the confidence to actually step onto the scales and by this point i had lost 10 kilograms all in that time oh my gosh despite starting my weight loss journey back in october 2020 i officially started it in april 2021 when i really took it seriously and i could tell that i was on track to lose weight this was my mission this is where it truly started and then it got to august so it had taken me five months about five and a half months to lose 10 kilograms i had lost 10 kilograms by this point and I had never been so happy just because I felt back to my old self I wasn't to be honest with you I couldn't fit into some of my clothes I didn't want to wear certain clothes I could only wear dresses in winter because I was too big to fit into trousers I was always wearing trackies all the time I would cover my body and it is never nice to feel like that you want to be showing off your body you want to be feeling confident so I'm really proud of myself to get to this point but it clearly showed showed me that for me and my weight loss journey it is all about mind over matter it doesn't matter how much you can exercise it's all about the focus in your mind so that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you found it useful interesting i might do a follow-up series of how i maintain my weight how i tone up my legs because as i said before i'm by no means where i want to be i've just extended that goalpost a little bit further so let me know if you would like me to do that a comment down below but if you did enjoy this video then please do like and subscribe i would love for you to join me and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!